So why is it absolutely critical when choosing a rollout nest box that you have to have a red roost bar and a red curtain? I'll tell you that in just a second. But this is Bryce with Hangear.com and Seven Sons Farms. I appreciate clicking on the video. I'm out here with our uh, 10,000 laying hens uh, on our uh, regenerative pasture, pasture raised farm in Roanoke, Indiana. We move our birds every single day in these 20 by 48 skid hoop houses. Like I said, we move them with the tractor. And all these buildings have everything the bird needs to stay healthy and to keep their production up. So we have solar lighting going down the center. We have feeders that we fill up every week. And we have the watering system down below. It's a nipple watering system. And then obviously the rollout nesting boxes. So interesting, cool little fact, hens are attracted to the color red. Matter of fact, hens are attracted to the rooster with the reddest, tallest comb. So it only makes sense that if you want your birds um, to lay in their nest box is to use that color for, for the visual. So obviously the first thing you're gonna see is that roost bar and the curtain and that draws them to the nest box. That's so you don't have birds laying out on the ground um, and, not, and not the box obviously. And you'll also notice too, that our hang gear nest boxes have a wide uh, cut out in the curtain versus our older V slots. Those V slots are outdated and it's definitely much tougher for the hens to figure out how to use. So you wanna make sure that you have a wider cut out so the birds can get into the box a lot easier. We just found that out. We've learned just from experience just how important that is. So yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, our website is hanggear.com. If you'd like to learn more about our farming operation, visit sevensons.net. Till next time.